Hello, Elena Barber here. Today I'm going to teach you some Zentangle. The materials I have here are a pencil and a 3.5 inch square card. First, you'll draw strings. Put a dot in each corner of your tile. Draw a gentle curved line connecting the dots to create a square. Now you will make a wavy line splitting this square into four smaller squares. Time to fill in our first square. This tangle is called crescent moon. You will draw a half, like a half circle on different parts of your little square. And you'll shade them in. Now you can do this with a pencil, a pen, a marker, a gel pen, colored pencil. You can do it with whatever type of media you would like. Although I'd have to say, it'd be pretty hard doing this with paint, I'd say. Now, once you have your little crescent moons, you will draw a little line over each of them parallel to the line of your half moon. And you'll keep doing that until it creates a nice complex pattern reaching out towards the center of your square. Now, with that complete, we can start on our second tangle, which will be tipple. This is a pretty simple one. You basically just do little circles and you connect them with more circles. You'll keep doing this until you fill up your whole entire space. And you can do different sizes of circles. Some will be bigger, some will be smaller. You're just trying to fill in all those little spaces. Ah, so you've completed tipple. Now, our third and second to last tangle. This one is called hollow ball. You basically just draw lines going, your first line is the top line and the other ones just go under that one. And you don't need to draw too many, but don't wanna deprive yourself of lines either. So just, do like a nice amount, fill up some space, and this one doesn't really take that long. See? Okay, now your final tangle, and possibly the hardest. This one is called Chillin'. You're going to want to start out with a nice grid, curving a bit, but always keeping the same distance apart. And the other way. And you have a nice little grid right there. Now you're gonna use that grid to make this pattern. So on these lines going this way, you're gonna want to put a half moon under those. And on these lines going this way, you're gonna put the half moon to the left. So you're basically filling in. It's a very delicate looking tangle, very beautiful. And congrats, you've made your Zen tangle. Now, if you'd like, you can color it. I have these markers. You can use whatever you like, colored pencils, other stuff, but I'm gonna pick a nice, delicate 
color combo for my chillin'. I don't think I'm gonna use these two colors. With that colored, I'm gonna go ahead and pick my color combos for the rest. For Tipple, since it's kind of like a nice bubbly kind of texture, I think I'm gonna use this and this, these two blues. Um, for the Crescent Moons, I think I'm gonna use, since I kind of reminded, I'm kind of reminded of the color yellow with the moon, I'm gonna use these two. And finally, hollow ball. It's kind of like chaos tangled all around. Reminds me of a jungle. So I'll use some green. Good job, guys. You've made your very own Zentangle. If you want more Zentangle, I've learned this from this beautiful book right here. You can probably order it on Amazon. It's called Zentangle for Kids. It's by Jane Marbakes. Jane Marbakes. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.